Hey guys, so uh, today what I want to do is I want to start working on this side of the, the camper. And if you saw my previous video, I did an in-depth tour of this left side with this bed and all that stuff that comes with it and pull out drawers. Uh, so now I need to start working on this side. And uh, if you seen uh, some of my old videos I, I removed all the chairs back here um, and I'm actually gonna put one of them back I'm gonna put the single one foldable one here uh, back and that's gonna be part of my new build I want to have that that actual chair to sit inside my camper and in addition having uh, the option to travel with three people not just two uh, so you know I'm, I'm not scared to undo everything I did so you guys seen that so I'm going to undo some of this floor and try to get that chair back in all right so I got that third chair back in um, yeah I had to re undo a lot of things I did I had to cut out a slot in the floor for um, this thing to go back in but uh, you know if you looked at the previous video how to take it out uh, you know you click up there uh, I just basically did the opposite to install it of course so let's pull it back and take a look what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like when I have it folded back. And you can see I made a, some modifications here to get this thing in. And I had to cut some holes for that. Let's take a look at it from the other side. All right, this is what it looks like from this side. Fits real nice and clean, I think. So now I'm gonna have this sitting option here. I could travel with three people or I could use this as a lounging chair uh, when I'm here in the van. And um, I wanna build out this area here for um, certain other things, uh, you know, like for instance, the refrigerators I'm going to put right here and then some, some storage drawers as you notice all my drawers are gone. So I need some storage drawers and maybe even have a fold down table in this area. I haven't decided yet completely, but this is what I wanted to do first. And I wanted to give it that option so that I could fold up and fold down for my second bed. And uh, we'll show you that too when I get there. For the refrigerator, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna build a platform and build a box around it. All right, so I just made a basic box for this. Um, I, I made the sides a little bit deeper so that it goes around the chair so that uh, this has more room. And I might cut a contour for the chair just depending on how things measure up. Um, so what I need to do now is, because this thing weighs a lot, so I'm going to need to cut some holes to reduce the weight a little bit, and then we'll put in the the refrigerator, see how it looks. Uh, definitely lighter. So I drilled these weight reduction holes, and uh, we'll put in the refrigerator. All right, so that's the way the refrigerator is going to look. I'm going to slide it in and out. Uh, I'll, I'll demo it all later, but that's the way it's going to look. I can't really pull it out with one hand too well uh, anyways uh, I may make a drawer for this later uh, so that it slides out smoother and I haven't decided yet not sure if it's worth it but uh, we'll see all right so what I want to do is I want to make this box slide in and out with the chair so that if I move the chair forward this whole unit will go forward with it so what I need to do is I need to uh, carpet the bottom so that it has a, a nice smooth surface to slide back and forth on. All right, so I carpeted the bottom of this thing and uh, this is gonna fit in like that. And of course the refrigerator will go in there. And what I wanna do is I wanna strap it to this chair so that it slides in and out with it. I'm also gonna use this, this hook that comes with the chair right here so i'm going to build a little bracket for it right there and i'm going to put straps right here and strap it to that so that it'll move with the chair in and out okay so i put these hooks onto the bottom and this this guy onto the top and it's just brackets i had laying around that i never threw out and the idea is that this one right here would hook into that and the bottom ones would hook into this strap and there are bars underneath the chair that you could hook these straps onto so the, the, the bars aren't hard to find so we're going to slide it in and uh that one hooks in i'm going to hook in the bottom one and strap it in 
uh, but I need my hands to do All right, that. So for the bottom, it hooks into these things like this, and the, it's just hooked onto a bar underneath the chair. And uh, what I take is I'm gonna take this strap right here. It's just a, a tightening strap on uh, my thing. Tighten it in, and I'm gonna hook that guy in and then give it a good tug. All right, so it's all in, fits nice and snug. Take a look at that hook back there. So, change it, there's the hook. And down here, let me show you, the, there's the straps. There it's strapped in, it's kind of hard to see, but it's strapped in. And let me demo the chair sliding in and out. All right, so the idea is I want to have this whole unit move in and out with the chair. So as I slide the chair back, everything slides back. As I pull it forward, everything slides forward. Perfect. One more adjustment. Uh, you can see it, it, it's hugging this chair really tight right here. This side is, is fine, no problem. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just, I, I might just uh, cut out a little bit of a notch and then put some carpeting. So I cut out this notch and I'm going to sand it down and then uh, give it a little angle that's nice and smooth so that uh, you know there's nothing sharp that rubs up against the leather. All right, so that seems nice and smooth. That fits in there nice. Uh, what I need to do now is I need to put some drawers that I want to put right here. Um, and I'm trying to find something that fits well. And I can't have it, the drawers come up this wide because if it goes over here too much, it, it's going to prevent me from walking in and out from the front seat. So I want to be able to, you know, use this space right here to, to walk through. So the first set of drawers cannot go any higher than, than this chair you know, will, will allow me to. And then maybe another set will come up over here or something like that. So that's the idea, we'll see how it goes. Right. Next crazy idea is I'm gonna cut up that old uh, TV console drawer that I have. And I'm gonna try to put it right here. I'm gonna shorten it down and then maybe even cut a curvature to it so it fits contours around the seat. Uh, we'll see how that goes. First cut. Now I'm going to uh, drill some holes like this on this back side so that I could use the same mounting scheme and then slide everything in. All right, so I made this calculation error. You know, if I put this in, this part right here needs to overlap so that it fits inside that groove. So this piece should have been cut to that size. But uh, the good news is I got another drawer I could fiddle with. We'll learn next time. I won't make the same mistake. Well, that's a lot better. So I decided instead of using the old um, IKEA type mounting, I'm just going to put screws in there. It's just easier and it's not carrying a lot of weight. All right, that's it. Now I have a short drawer. Right. So of course I knew it wasn't going to fit. Uh, so what I have to do now is kind of measure out and cut a little little gap for it to slide underneath that chair. So that's the first drawer, how it's gonna look. And then I'll, I'm gonna put a barrier right here, of course, so that uh, things don't spill over, you know, that are in the drawer. They don't fall between the cracks or anything like that. All right, so this is the frame. I got the bottom drawer in. Now I'm gonna put in the drop top drawer chop down another drawer and the top one's going to be a little bit short because that's all the room I have and let's build the frame around it all right so that's in that's the way it looks right now take a step back here are the drawers you can see there's a cut on the inside there's still a good amount of room this guy he's not so big but he gets the job done look at it from the outside back side not so pretty I may cover that up with some fabric or something and I may not I might just leave it we'll see how I feel all right so that's the cabinets and the refrigerator of course that I can't do with one hand but you pull out Next, I need 
to put some safety latches so these drawers don't go opening and closing when I'm driving around. Uh, it is, um, it does face the back so that uh, when I brake, that's actually pretty, pretty safe because, you know, it goes that way and it doesn't really want to open. But still, uh, I should put uh, these child safety latches things or uh, RV cabinet drawer latches. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in these, but uh, we'll put them in. Test out these latches. Real nice and secure. It pulls out like that. So I'm going to do the same for up there. All right. Next up, uh, I decided I'm going to put a drawer for the refrigerator. So I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. So for the refrigerator, I built this drawer. So it's basically just, I put some carpeting just for um, friction reduction, two rails, a board that's gonna run in the between. And up on this board, I just got these roller wheels, straight roller, so that the, the weight goes on here and here and slides in and out. All right, up next is a coat of paint and put it back in. It's all painted. That's the way it looks on that side. There's still room for me to access the back from the front. Come around the side. Okay, and here's the drawer. All right, now it's Miller time. 